Pisces, you ever had one of them good old church hymns in your head? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't know where it come from, but I sing because I'm happy. Okay? Wait a minute now. I sing, Pisces, because I'm free. What? His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. Okay, he watching that ass now. All right, he she them day whoever God is. All right, <laughs> but come on in, here, Pisces. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Yo, you're free, baby. Okay, <laughs> that was the baby. I'm like, spare by that song, man. I think it's just a reminder to let let me know that I'm free. So I'm just reminding you. Okay, but real talk though, y'all, it's something about being free. Um, we've been closing our cycles. We've been cutting off folks that don't mean us no good, right? We've been leaving those things that no longer serve us. We've been letting that shit go, right? Okay, cycle's closed. We're free. You understand what I'm telling you, right? Keep moving ahead, baby. Keep going. Keep going forward. Anyway, Pisces. Hey, boo. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> How you feeling today? Well, I hope that answer was <laughs> that you were feeling good. And if you're not, it's my intention that you will be by the end of this reading. Excuse me, y'all. So come on and somebody got up a bald head. Okay, that just stood out to me. I don't know. Something about a bald head. All right, somebody could like to wear black. Okay, like a lot of black. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Cancer. Okay, spurt. All right, so let's see what messages come through today, Pisces. Thank y'all for coming back home to your home planet. And if this is your first time here, baby, welcome home. Don't forget to go down there and visit the subscribe button so we could give you your citizenship papers. All right, all right, bet. What is this? So first of all, we got the Tarot of Opposition book for all my readers out there that may ask what deck this is. Okay, you got the star. I'm not going to hold her close because she ain't got no clothes. I ain't got time for YouTube and they shenanigans. Nah, okay, but an Aquarius could be significant. Interesting. All right, so let's see. What y'all want to see? What you want to see today? I don't even know. Let's just get a message, bird. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you got the three of cups on the bottom of the deck with the three of wands that came out in the upright. Beautiful, Pisces. We're going to get a few more, though, okay? All right. Yeah, take a deep breath with me. I liked when we did that in the last reading. Mm -hmm. It helped us connect. Real talk. Okay. All right. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Awesome. All right. And you can also hit that like button. Right? That's an exchange of energy as well. Yeah. More messages. Bird. Look at you. I am so proud of you, Pisces. I am so proud of you. Okay, now y'all know my readings are timeless. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you understand me, okay? But, baby, you done repaired some shit. I heard, and you are going to reap the rewards. You've been doing a lot of work. You have been doing a lot of healing work. You have been doing a lot of repair work. I even heard patchwork. You could be, um, and I'm talking about on you, baby, okay? Somebody been looking in the mirror. Man in the mirror. Somebody not me Michael Jackson. Okay, Michael or Jackson. <laughs> or, or you could just like that ninja. I love Michael. But real talk, this is healing work. You got the, the three of wands and the three, of, I mean the uh, six of swords, right? Those are both cards of growth, right? Maturity. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is also an energy of someone who is if you aren't already it's like you're ready to step out of some sort of like defined parameters is what i'm hearing cuz you know the boy am i see another cool another yeah my so order yeah sure it's like spirit is showing me like you was right oh my god boy sure sick oh shit <laughs> like my goodness you can have a lot of people that oppose you or that have in your past spirit is showing me a picture of someone surrounded by barbed wire okay but 
this energy right here is the barbed wire has been removed okay i hope that makes sense how i said that but that looked intense though all right <clears throat> But it's very much giving me an energy um, that you're ready to step out, though. Like, it's it's no no more defined parameter. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. You free, Pisces. Look at that shit, how it came together like that, okay? Thank you, God, okay? Have you thanked God today? <laughs> if not, you should, okay? All right, could you imagine doing something for somebody and they never thank you? Okay, you can even be working on your body, on your health. All right, oh, somebody's gonna ask you out somewhere or something. It's something about your self care, though. And when I say that, I mean like it is, I don't know, I just it's. Look, let me show y'all. Look how she's looking at that pinnacle. It's like she's looking in a mirror. You see what I'm saying? I know it's kind of like bright, but it's like she's looking in a mirror. I feel like you faced yourself. You faced yourself. You could have even faced my yo city ki chasto boy. Baby, who am I talking to today? The shit that you have gone through, my ninja, was supposed to ruin a regular ass mofo. You understand what I'm telling you? You have such a strong spirit of perseverance, my ninja. Yo, big ups to you. Bam. Right like that, right there. You were supposed to pound me back. All right, so rewind and pound me back if you didn't, okay? <laughs> but real talk, Pisces. Say something about somebody asking that ass out now. Okay. All right, so continue, like, expanding. Continue. Um, it's also giving me energy of somebody who is learning more about themselves, too. Give me a minute. It's, um, it's okay. Expect to see something bigger. It's giving me very much hermit. Like, you have been in a... A period of like pouring into yourself, right? But now, and you know, like with the hermit, he can only see so far in front of him, right? God is about to expand that light for you. You are the light, my God. Choya <laughs> Hold on, now I'm getting chills. Hold up. <laughs> All right. The light ain't in the damn lantern, my ninja. You are the light. You understand what I'm telling you? There is an expansion of your light, though, right? This expansion of your light is going to attract, you know how to, look, we get the bad and the good with the light, okay? So, the spirit of discernment is on that ass, okay? I know you, you got a spirit of discernment in you, so just use it. But there's something about, and it's no card, but I'm telling you, I hear it, okay? It's something about an offer or you getting the attention of someone, all right, and you're not even trying, okay? And this doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't have to be romantic for everyone. For some of y'all, this could be a business offer or a um, uh, money-making opportunity, all right? Because it is the queen of pentacles, right? And your spirit guides are leading you. All right, the golden hour could be significant for you right now. That's like what hour I'm in right now, like when the sun be setting and stuff. Okay, and the sky be all pretty and shit. Look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? Ain't that gorgeous? I think so. All right. Let's get it, spirit. So let's do three more. I sing because... I'm happy and I sing because I'm free. What's the spirit meaning of sparrow? I should look that up. Okay, 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 I like this. Okay, so the seven of pentacles, you've been waiting on something now. The three of wands could also represent waiting, and the seven of pentacles could definitely represent a waiting period. 
right? Like waiting to see the fruits of your labor, your stuff come up out the ground, right? Okay, but she look happy as shit, okay? It's like meantime, in between time, while she waiting on her stuff to come up out the ground and, and sprout and shit so she could pick her harvest, look what she's doing. She's creating something, right? She is doing arts and crafts, so maybe she ain't shit. I don't know what the hell she, what is that? Maybe she do eating grapes. I don't know. Whatever she doing, she happy while she doing that shit, though. Okay. All right. Grapes. All right. Uh, oranges. That look like a pineapple. Okay. Cherries as well. Any of those fruits. Mm, yo. Could be beneficial for you right now. What's so crazy is the reverse of this card. The lady has more food and she looks way unhappy. Like, I'm talking about, y'all see our girl up here, right? This you, this you right now. This your current energy right now, okay? Look at you being happy while you patiently waiting on that, on that, uh, harvest. Da -da -da. Okay, but look at this lady. And look at the food she got now, y'all. This lady, she ain't got a whole lot of food. Look at this shit. This lady got fruits, vegetables, and chickens. And she's not satisfied. All right, so there's definitely something about you, um... And then it's it's like a uh, this is like an act of gratitude. Do you know what I'm saying? An appreciation to God. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, look, even in the little, God, I thank you. With the little, I thank you, God. Okay, you get a ten cent raise at work. I thank you for the increase, God. Okay, because gratitude always increases the flow of abundance. Don't forget that shit. Find a penny on the ground. Thank you for the increase, God. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. It be the little things, right? Think about it for yourself, right? You're the personification and personification of God. You're literally the image of God, right? So what would you appreciate? Wouldn't you appreciate if somebody told you thank you and you're doing some shit for them? I don't know. I said that in the last message, but somebody must need to hear that for real, for real. <laughs> And you got the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. I love this energy, Pisces. This is high vibing energy. All right. Holy Spirit, tell me more, please. It's something about sharing right now, okay? Look at this ninja. He had to bring his ass out here, nah? <laughs> I think this is actually a good thing, though. Um... Give me a second. You got the Hermit and the Seven of Cups. But baby, this Seven of Cups don't look like the regular Seven of Cups. What you doing? What is you doing? Hold on. It's something God wants you to give to them. That you it's something, it's something. God wants you to give something to them now. Because something that you might be holding on to, God got something bigger. Look, you see how she got that little ass cup? But God got this cup for her. But she holding on to that cup, right? So her hands are full. Remember now, okay, you can't put what? New wine and old wine skin. So you got to trade that shit out, okay? So upgrades, upgrades, all right? Interesting. But look at this seven of cups, y'all. Girl, what is he doing? He's sleeping good as fuck. Okay. I'm talking about he is sleeping real good. But real talk, for somebody here, it could be something about either food or alcohol. Or even smoke. I saw smoke up here earlier. All right. Anything that you is giving me <laughs> desires of the flesh. All right. Do what you want to do with all this information. You ain't got to do shit. All right. But it looks as though <laughs> there may be something that spirit is wanting you to. It's giving me very much like, here, you give me that and I'll give you something better in return. Right? It's kind of like a sacrifice. Making a sacrifice, right? I'm going to sacrifice my entertainment. Right? And I'm not going to watch TV for the next 24 hours or any kind like i'm gonna read instead if when i normally pick up my phone and go on youtube you know what i'm gonna read instead or do something else you know what i'm saying instead of something that you normally do that kind of pleases your flesh okay or your you just pleases you okay oh, your dreams are very significant right now and there go that hermit with that liberty ass light okay this light is literally is is within you though real talk and y'all 
so it's something for the light to go into you like the the light to it's almost giving me like activation right uh but you'll know what that's in that that it you're right okay hold on um how do you say that then wait a minute uh, i don't know but <laughs> It's not an activation. It's more like a increase, right? A um, upgrade, basically, like an upgrade. Um, your light being turned up or some shit. But before it can get all the way turned up to where you are truly magnetizing any and everything to finally make them holes pop up out the ground so you could pick them, okay? It's something that spirit want may want you to just sacrifice and it doesn't have to be forever you know what i'm saying you could put a time on that shit meditate on it right damn look at the seven of cups in reverse bruh this dude is sleeping good so you could be getting some really good sleep right now pisces 77 could be significant with the seven of pentacles the seven of cups okay you look so satisfied right now and you are you are so fucking satisfied and this satisfaction is coming from you it's coming from within it's the hermit you enjoy spending time with yourself look at you talking to your grapes and shit and drooling on your pillow get that sleep then pisces okay all right <clears throat> excuse me give me a second This hermit looks like he has almost like a, a a thousand rod. It was another name they had for thousand rods, though. I can't think of the name of it. Um. Anyway, thousand stick, right? You see how it goes in different directions. Give me a second. Oh, Lord, the other hermit, his light then went out, y'all. Bless his heart. Oh, y'all pray for him. Pray for the man, Lord. He lost out there on top of the mountain. But it's something about your inner knowing. is is like trust your inner knowing because it's directing you somewhere. Like your inner guidance, okay, the internal navigation system, trust it. All right? When your body tell you go drool on your damn pillow, go and give it all your mouth, okay? <laughs> that sound weird as shit. But okay. <laughs> And what's to come in the uh, near future for Pisces, Holy Spirit? Seven of Wands, seven, 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 ninety-three, eleven. Okay, friends. Okay, what up, friends? I, I have sang that so many times on this damn channel, and never look it up to see who sang it. I think it's Prince Star, but who else? I know, um, Carrie and Doctor Simone gonna get me straight in the comments if it's somebody else. Those are uh, Planet Pisces DJs, y'all, all right? So when we have our retreat one day, they're going to bring the music. <laughs> Brother Karen, sister, Dr. Simone. Holy Spirit, what's the coming affair in the future for Pisces, please? All right, so make sure you continue doing your protection work, right? And just like the hermit, right? What is the hermit doing? While he's out there by himself in the wilderness or on top of the mountain or wherever this man is, right? His energy is is cleansed. He has nothing around him to um, muck up his his um, energy field, right? There's also something here about you really being confident about. I heard your stance, but it's more than that. Give me a second. Wait a minute. Hold up. Yo, the seven of wands came out in reverse listen to me okay bruh gets hit this is supposed to be very near future i rebuke it okay because you know now to have your guard up all right if the enemy come and try to test your ass all right because this man had like he his defenses weren't strong enough to combat some sort of energy you see that shit 
That look like somebody double teamed him. Hold up. The fuck? Why y'all do that man like that? That ain't fair. You see how in the, uh, like, he got it. Bro, right here got it. Okay, Shaolin monks. What? I don't know, but that's what I heard. Okay, look, y'all. Look. Okay. He is operating from his solar plexus. It's something about being confident. Look, now. This man tried to tell somebody something. Ain't that the throat chakra blue? He tried. Look, he operating from just his throat, right? <laughs> He may have had to talk himself into trying to do this damn fight. It's something about, like, coming from your solar plexus. All right? Come, that confidence that, mm, I know my shit, damn it. Okay. I gotcha. Okay. All right, so don't let something catch you off guard. Right? All right, so the throat and the solar plexus chakras could be significant. We're going to be relying on all that shit on 11, 11, nine. It's actually going to be uh, 11, 9, but... <laughs> Holy Spirit, what else, please, for uh, near future for Pisces? We're not doing no more, no, no more, no more bad cards, Spirit. Give me some good shit, all right? <laughs> nah, but real talk, what's coming, Spirit? So we'll know. We could be prepared. You got the Ace of Wands. Thank you, God. Okay, it's the good side. <laughs> all right. Somebody's gonna buy you a bracelet or something. Too. Who is this that I'm picking up on? Somebody, like, it's something about somebody, y'all, <laughs> other than you, okay, that I'm picking up on somebody's energy. Somebody's gonna buy you a bracelet or either some sort of, like, uh, jewelry or something. All right. It could even be a fucking friendship bracelet. Okay, and here we got the Three of Swords. What the fuck is this? You know what this is? After all this beautiful energy, you reflecting, you got self-reflection going on, you growing, you expanding, you waiting on your ships to come in, right? You waiting on your harvest to come up out the ground, okay? You sleeping good, you looking good, you doing self-care, you spending time with yourself, you connecting with yourself on a deeper level, your connection with God is growing stronger, right? This is all past and recent past and present energy going on in your, you know, with you. Then here come the bullshit. You know what this shit feel like? First of all, it feels kind of attacky, God. Okay, it feels like an attack. Is this an attack from the enemy? <laughs> That's what this shit feels like. Oh my freaking gosh. The five of pentacles. Why she looks so old, though? Damn. Shit. Bless the Lord. But you know what's good about this five of pentacles? In the normal Five of Pentacles, they don't see that they got help right above them. This lady is open to help. You get what I'm saying? But this gives me lost, though. I don't... Mm -mm. What is this about, Spirit? The Nine of Cups under that and the Eight of Wands with the Page of Wands. And the Knight of Swords. Don't look... And the Magician. It's, and the fucking Ace of Pentacles. What the hell? What's all this ugly ass energy about spirit? Honestly, the three of swords isn't bad. Look at this lady in the three of swords, right? I'm, I'm more than anything, I'm an intuitive reader, right? I know what the meaning of all the cards are, but I listen to spirit. You see how she got her hands up? And that sword ain't pier piercing through her. It's in front of her. And she got her hands up like, you know what, God? Whatever. Bring it up. If it needs to be brought it up, it. Okay? That could be what this is, especially with you being in hermit mode right now. All right? Or, you know, recently being in hermit mode. There could be some things that come up right that could cause a tear or two here or there right but with the three of swords 53 or 35 could be significant 73 75 any of those numbers backwards could be significant but listen 
this is going to bring about some form, some new creation though. Like basically it's giving me transmutation, alchemy, okay? So in the event that the enemy tries that ass, right? Which the enemy is gonna do, right? You just gotta be prepared for the shit and know that it, it's just, it's a trick of the enemy, okay? All right, <laughs> okay, All right? Take that take that attack that uh heavy feeling that sadness that pain whatever this is and alchemize it all right in our last reading we were talking about somebody in our collective writing a book right somebody is supposed to be writing a book it's something like that like instead of sitting in some sort of like negative ass energy utilize that energy for your benefit right turn your pain into purpose into profit into power you get what i'm telling you all right nine of cups on the bottom deck what's the seven of wands spirit shout out rachel hey rachel <laughs> she knows she is i'm praying for you sis you got the star here Oh, baby, your healing journey is not for the week. We actually got a, 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 a video on our channel that's named something like that. So you can look it up if you want to. If I remember, I'll try to link it. But it's called like your journey is not for the faint of heart or the weak of heart or something. It's not. It's not. You have the star clarifying the seven of wands. The seven of wands is a card of defense, right? But in the reverse, it's like you getting your ass whooped, okay? By them damn sticks that the enemy or somebody or somebody got them against that ass, okay? All right. The star is a card of hope, positivity, and healing. This has been a hell of a healing journey for you, right? And I know by the spread here that you have have had many moments of feeling alone right now while you may be alone in your life like your community your city your family whatever whatever please know you are not alone that's another trick of the enemy y'all to make you feel like you're the only one in the world going through some shit right going through whatever you're going through that is a trick of the enemy all right, no man is an island is what I just heard. All right, so reach out for help if you need help, okay? Um, yeah. And you know your girl does offer, um, I does. <laughs> I do offer. <laughs> I don't know, somebody can be like, really, it's an English and grandma. All right, but uh, yeah, I offer live phone call and FaceTime or Zoom readings if you need somebody to talk to. I also just offer that too. My BFF Blue, if you just need somebody to talk to, invent to on the phone and we could chop it up, all right? But all the information is linked in the description box or in the pinned comment. Um, yeah, my book insight. I And if it's not like a hyperlink, you can always copy paste it into the web, okay? Spirit, tell me more about this Seven of Wands, please. And then we're going to wrap it up, y'all. It's getting dark. I don't know my baby like, what my mama said? What she said? She was going to go to the library and come right back. Where she at? <laughs> oh, Lord. Single parent. You got to get it how you live. You got to get that free time. <laughs> the Page of Cups. Interesting. All right. What's the page of cups? The world. Okay. So here in the very near future, it's something that you listen. What's the world, spirit? Something may not turn out exactly how you expect it to. What is this about, Spirit? What is this? The Nine of Fucking Cups, yo. This is fulfillment. 
the, the nine of cups is being proud of your accomplishments this is about something that you are going towards like your accomplishments remember oh that was the street light came on i'm like damn i got another light up in here did you come on like that but hey remember how you had the three of wands you're waiting the seven of pentacles you're waiting then here we go in the very near future disappointment right trick of the enemy something is already done right we can't of course we can't tell god when to give it to us right so what should they do spirit like um let me ask what this ace of wands is first i can't get over this though Look, you got the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Magician. It's like, bring it to me now, Spirit. Bring it to me now. I feel you. I feel you. Why would they be like, what is, what is, what is the world? Tell me that again. This is something you learning, baby. You got two pages out here. The page of swords and the page of um, cups. Shit. Wow. You could definitely be learning or... Um, it's not trying to... What, how do you say? It's about your emotions and your mental, right? Definitely some sort of like because you know your right side of your brain that's your your emotion your your feminine right and your left side of your brain is your masculine you can even be working on that right now balancing your feminine and your masculine energies you're learning you're learning you're learning that shit give me a second This shit is baby, baby, baby. <sighs> Your healing journey is not for the faint of heart. Just period. Just period. Because I feel like for a lot of us, we're learning things now that was supposed to be instilled in us as fucking children, right? You got pages here. Those are the babies. These are the children. Now, this you in kindergarten. You know what I'm saying? Like, but with the world here, you do it. You get it done. All right? You're learning. Okay? You're successful in it. Okay? Right? What's the three of swords, spirit? Listen. it's No. What's this ace of wands? Because I feel like you're going to have an opportunity to show off how much you've learned, right? Not a test, an opportunity now, okay. It's gonna be an opportunity though. You're well prepared for this. Look at all the other cards up here now. I know you can't see them, but just look through my eyes. <laughs> I feel very goofy today. <laughs> What's the Ace of Wands, Holy Spirit? Well, we got her apps heard. My baby's gonna be calling me, shouting. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is the Ten of Cups? This is a new beginning, <laughs> like literally rooted, okay, <laughs> in happiness, love, family, fulfillment. So, why the Three of Swords, Spirit? Give me a second. And good luck with the ladybug, though. This feels like residual energy. All this other shit. What's the three of swords, please? The chariot. There it is. That movement. All right. What's the five of pentacles? The lovers. Connection. Listen. Pisces. Y'all are not going to guess what's on the bottom of this deck. Yes, you are, because you're the high priestess, right? 
wish fulfillment. Tell me more about the lovers, please. This is disappointment. This is disappointment. For some of y'all, it could be in a connection, like, or, you know, attracting a partner or um, some sort of connection here. What happened with the lovers? What, what is what is this? But for some of us, y'all, the nine of wands. Shit. But for some of us, y'all, this is that alignment, right? That balance of the masculine and feminine energy. What's the lovers? What happened? Damn. The moon. I know that's the moon. No, it's not. It's the Two of Swords. It's like a, It's some sort of trauma here, y'all. It's something from like... It's, give me more spirit. For the lovers. The Tower. Alright. I'm just gonna warn you now. Okay? The Ace of Cups. Listen, it's a little bit more work to be done. You know your girl gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be honest. I love all positive shit, but listen. <laughs> all right, there's something that spirit is trying to show you, and you've been doing the work. You have been doing good too, right? But sometimes, no matter how much we work on something, sometimes it's good to get an outside opinion or go to a therapist or a counselor or a preacher, a pastor, a leader, a blue phoenix. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody you trust though, right? To get an outside opinion if, if you're having difficulty in a certain area, right? Whether this is aligning your divine feminine and masculine energy within or if this is hitting roadblocks in the area of love. Either way it goes, it's something you're not seeing that it has to be seen in order for your wish to be fulfilled. For what the fuck? Why they so ugly? Both of them ugly. I don't like the ice cups cold. Okay. You can feel like this. Like, damn. Is love supposed to be this damn dirt? Look how look how unlit this card is. Like, I gotta bring it up stupid close. My gosh, it's so dim. You could even feel like that. Like, is love real, Ninja? <laughs> Shit. And, like, the more you try to pull it up out the ground, there goes somebody else pulling that shit back down. Like, this feels like it has been... <sighs> Listen, though. This tower... Something's... Mm. I would say talk to somebody to prevent the tower because let me just see spirit what's the tower please you got justice because something is meant for you right this alignment is meant for you this lover right who <laughs> that might be the person that was up there buying your damn uh <laughs> that you're attracting and shit but it's something that you need to learn before you meet this person now nah? All right, for y'all to literally come together and it be a roko yama siniyana toko ubu yama riyana yala what a a a successful, productive, equal, uh, reciprocity um, uh, relationship. Okay, but to say bayan Just a Libra could be significant. All right, we had a whole lot of signs. I don't feel like going through all of them. All right. But thick sign could be significant. Yeah, Scorpio. Give me a second. 
it's something someone here may not be aware of some like the, you know sometimes we can suppress um or repress i think we it's re, re, repressed memories okay and not realize that we have behaviors that were birthed from that fucking memory we can't remember it in our conscious mind but our subconscious remembers that shit subconscious remembers everything real talk okay give me a second damn you could have got whoopings as a child or some shit all right but this is the thing for the most part you understand your traumas and you have grown from them and have utilized some of them for your benefit, like in a good way. All right, let's see what this two of swords is because spirit is telling me like this is still going to work out in your favor. All right, but there's definitely something here about being aware of your triggers. There's also a release that's happening here. Continue to to continue on your healing journey, right? Um if you feel like you're totally blocked though, reach out to someone even if you just need to talk to them you know what i'm saying to just get some shit off your chest somebody you trust though who's on the same level with you okay all right <clears throat> holy spirit you want to tell me about this two of swords again please anything else my baby you could feel like shit god when is it gonna fucking like come on <laughs> i feel you two of cups and the knight of cups shit you might have a choice to make in love uh, I don't know we might do it I don't know I gotta go to the house cause I wanna go I wanna see what it's about This is about love. Like, period. It's about love. The fucking Queen of Cups. This is about love, baby. This is about opening up your heart. There's some sort of fear here, though. There's some sort of fear. There's some sort of fear. I, the fucking will of fortune. You. This is a part of your life lesson. Like, your purpose. Like, your, you were born for this. This is big. <laughs> Can't even say it. Oh, Lord, we have 43 minutes. Let me get up off this damn camera. Lord, the park closed at dark, Jesus. Lord, let me get up out of here, y'all. Spirit, give us some advice, because damn. No. Ninja. Listen. Yo. Somebody... Whoever this person is, whoever this other person is, baby, the, your your person, whoever this new love will be when it comes. First of all, this night of this night of one. Okay, so it's Jesus. So many messages, y'all. Let me get them together. You have an offer coming in. I don't know if these are two different people. Or if when the offer first comes in, for some reason you're disappointed by this or something, and then they come, like it's a reunion or meet again or so, I don't, I don't, mm -mm. it's something like that though. But this person, bro, somebody is look, that ninja is frozen, okay? That's the Ten of Swords. It looks like they broke out of some sort of or are trying to break out because those are four swords around them here too. Jesus. 
this person is very, very attractive. All right. This person could be a go-getter. All right. All right. Very much, uh, what you call it? Uh, large in charge is what I heard. This person could be kind of like not, not stable yet though. They're building, they're, they're working towards some sort of stability. This person could use like measuring sticks or something in their work or like a chamoy and a tiena kapabaya rumba. Some sort of measurements, okay? Could be significant. All right, a pharmacist could be significant, okay? Or a doctor, okay? But then you got the six of cups and the two of wands. And look at how, like, that looks tough, y'all. That shit look tough. Somebody, get this person, and look, the six of pentacles. This person, whoever this is, this is, this could even be like some twin flame shit for some of y'all. Okay, and for those that don't resonate with twin flying, this could be like a real high level soulmate because it's given very much mirror. You understand what I'm telling you? Like, whoever you're supposed to, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whoever's supposed to come into your life, you know what I'm saying, for a reason, a season, a lesson, or a blessing, whatever they're coming up in this gent for, they're going through something quite similar as you. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there, y'all. But the Wheel of Fortune, Ninja, this is this is a part of your destiny. This is fated for you to overcome this. All right, because that's what that's what the 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 fates and destiny and thing like like that's what we come here to overcome shit, right? <laughs> okay, to win, my Ninja, you got the Wheel of Fortune, not the yeah, the Wheel of Fortune right here, but the world came out for you already. So the victory is already yours, right? You just got to fall in place. Anyway, Pisces, let me go before my baby call APB out for his missing mama. Okay. I love y'all so much. Let me know your thoughts um, down below. Also, stay on the lookout for uh, the registration for the 1111 portal. Okay. And um, yeah, all that good shit. And from all my people who were at the 1010 portal, you should uh, be receiving an email from me with a nice little present in there. Okay. Well, Brian, yeah. So whatever email you used to sign up for the 1010 portal, that will be the same email that I'm going to send the little surprise in. Okay. It ain't a whole lot, but it's a little something. Just let, let you know I'm thinking about you and I love you. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I'll be posting the link for y'all to register for the 1111 portal. And again, it's straight up donation based because I want everybody who can cover finances or not, baby. Okay. But uh, let me go home, y'all. All right. I love you. Say a prayer for me for safe travels. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you next time, Pisces. Bye, boo.